Don't you walk in here while I'm doing this. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I look and feel like absolute garbage right now. Let's talk about my first movie-going experience, shall we? It happened this summer, don't worry, I don't have to remember too hard. Except for the date. I don't remember the date. Somewhere I have the ticket stub. I don't know where that could be. Anyway, let's get started before I fall asleep. So, I went to the movie theater. It was hot, it was during summer, and I just wanted to cool down and relax. I didn't have anyone else to go with, so I decided to face it and go by myself. I don't go by myself to many things. There's a good reason why. I'm really bad at doing stuff by myself. My mom usually goes to doctor's appointments with me, because I'm just like way too nervous to even talk to the doctor about why I'm sick or how come I don't feel too good. My glasses broke, which is why I'm wearing these ones that I can't see very well through. Uh, like I can see very well for like reading the microphone, but I can't really see very well for like reading the camera name right now. So that's a more recent thing that sucks, so I can't go see a movie unless I use these things and then I can't use the 3D because it's so much bigger. Oh shoot. And then uh, I got they're, they're very narrow what was I talking about? Right. Movie theater. So I went to the movie theater to go see Baby Driver. That was my intention. I intended to see Baby Driver. I went inside and there was about six uh, ATM like machines for tickets um, and then there was like four little areas where there was, you know, supposed to be real people uh, hand, uh, doing the ticket handling and whatever. And this one girl, uh, there's only one girl working at those counters, but um, uh, midsummer on a Tuesday, which is the cheaper day, and I went in and uh, this girl's like, uh, who worked there, she's like, hey, uh, do you want to, uh, do you need help with using the machine? And I'm like, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, cause I had no idea how to use those things. I, I'm really, really, really weird when it comes to technology. Like sometimes I'll be like, okay, cool. Plug, play, do it, do it, do it. But like with those machines, there's just so many buttons and I don't want to accidentally press the wrong one. And I didn't even know what time it was. I think it was like 4.30 in the afternoon. Or no, it was like 4 o'clock because the thing was 4.20 or whatever. And then I went to the concession stand, got my popcorn poppin' uh, skittles. And then I went down this long, 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 long hallway. And there was a sign. And the sign said, uh, baby driver at 4.35 and Atomic Blonde at 425. And I was like, uh, okay. Uh, which, which theater? I don't, I only see one door. What's going on here? So I went into the one door that I could see and, uh, I sat down and there was a pair of old ladies sitting next to me and there was a man and his son like the son was like 18 years old or something like that and the dad was like 40 or 50 and uh, I was like okay kind of hard to gauge by the crowd whether this is Atomic Blonde or a uh, baby driver hmm and then uh, the movies, the, the lights started to go down, the movie started, and then 80s music. Okay, 80s music. That either means um, it's Baby Driver, which I heard has 80s music, or it's um, uh, Atomic Blonde, which is set in the 80s. Uh, and then I was like, okay, so it could be either or. And then, like, this guy in a big mustache comes out, and, uh, I was just like, okay, 
maybe that's baby's dad. Maybe this is like, <laughs> like that my dad died via whatever and he died with music and I have tinnitus and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, so maybe, maybe this is like backstory or something. Uh, it was, and, uh, the music kind of blended in and out, uh, to be like, you know, part of the soundtrack and part of the, just the, you know, what the car was playing, which was interesting. And, um, and so, uh, then a little title thing at the bottom, like, you know how it says like London, blah, blah, blah. Um, it said Berlin. Three days before the fall of the wall. And I'm like, oh, maybe it's still backstory. And then you know, stuff happened and then it went atomic blonde. I'm like, I don't think I'm seeing Baby Driver. I walked into the wrong movie. I felt really, really awkward for like 10 minutes. And then I got really, really into the movie. And um, yeah, it's an amazing movie. Oh, shit. And uh, it's got great, great stunts and amazing camera work, and it's just wonderful. And the acting was amazing, and it was just the like, like, like I said, the stunt choreography and the fight scenes—they were just so real. Like, it, it just it every hit looked like it hurt. Like it was real, real. And that was fantastic to see. Like, I'm, I'm, I got, I was just like, oh, great, fight scene. They're going to get punched a lot and they're only going to get starting to get bloody, like, at the end of it. No, like, if a dude got punched in the nose, he was bleeding for the entire scene and it was gory or, well, yeah, a little gory, a little bloody. It was pretty dang great. I love it when it, you know, I love realism when it comes to fight choreography things because I hate it when like somebody gets punched and you don't see any redness or anything like that you know you just see them go eh, and then they you know get back to fighting and they're like they get kicked in the stomach and then they jump back up right away no 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 not in this one everybody's like slowly getting back up they're like oh god and it's just painful to watch but also like enjoyably like hardcore fighting and that was just breathtaking the way it was done <laughs> it was just it it was like non-stop but after a while they they had to stop and take their breaths and stuff like that so it was like kind of non-stop like there was still like fighting going on but it was still like uh i keep saying like but uh they're still fighting and they're just trying to get up and they're stumbling and they're fumbling and they're like, I don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> oh, please do not hit me. Oh, no. And like people getting hit with like friggin cast iron pots and fr uh, freezer doors. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful like choreography like it was it's a dance really <laughs> and uh this movie was directed by david leach 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 i i don't know um and he was he uh co-directed uh john wick and well it's uncredited but the, it's credited but uncredited in the frickin' IMDB, which doesn't make sense. Um, it's credited as uncredited. I don't understand that. Anyway, um, and, like, you can kind of tell, like, because the scenes in that movie are just phenomenal and real and unreal at the same time. Um, but yeah, the, the acting was really good. I'm starting to feel a little better now. But, uh, if you can go see, um... Uh, what is this? Atomic Blonde. If you can go see Atomic Blonde, like if it's in your movie theater still, like I think it's in my movie theater still too, uh, go see it. Go do it. Go, go, go see uh, Atomic Blonde. Do it. You'll enjoy it. If you're into hardcore action movies and espionage and the fall of the Berlin Wall and also spy stuff. Um, it's pretty damn awesome. 
and uh, Baby Driver. Haven't seen it yet, but it is sort of playing in the theater here. Uh, so I might go see it still. I don't have any funds to go see it now, but, uh, when I do, I will do that, and it'll be awesome, and it'll be a second solo movie viewing experience at a different theater in the downtown part of my town, which is gonna be very weird. Anywho. <clears throat> Anywho. Uh, so yeah, definitely go see... Atomic Blonde if you can. Um, and uh, yeah. But I'm hoping to do more vlog style things like this. Like this was pretty fun. Uh, I'm not going to enjoy having to do like three different things of audio. But uh, I'll figure it out. I'll handle it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, give it a good like. And uh, subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time I do one of these things, which will probably be soon. Like, next week I'll probably have one out. I'll definitely be doing more of these in October. Like, I'll be talking about a lot of spooky movies in October. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot of spooky movies. I have a huge list of spooky movies I want to talk about. So, uh, be prepared for that. Uh, I might be doing like five in one or something like that. So that'll be fun for me. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 What I had planned for Flipper, um, really needed more than one, uh, camera person. And I am the only camera person. So I have to be in front of the camera and also beside the cam behind the camera. And, uh, I had extra characters and everything lined up. So, um, it was going to be way more complicated than I could do that by myself. So that's why I didn't do Flipper this time. I promise. I promise. I promise. I will get to Flipper. I'm... <laughs> I'm cranking up Flipper way more than it should, but, um, it is something that I've become recently passionate about. I don't know why, really, but, um, I really appreciate your patience. Hoping you have patience with this Flipper thing. I'll, I will get to it. I promise I will. It just, it is a little more difficult than, uh, I thought it would be at first. Thank you for watching and goodbye.